Perfect blue skies, almost no wind, beautiful sunshine. These are indeed conditions for the beautiful game. The backdrop here, picturesque, idyllic. No doubt one of the best days of the footballing calendar and it has added to a really jovial, happy mood in the stands, helping to raise the level of sound by more than a few decibels. Shirt sleeve order, very much the dress code. And we have in front of us this gloriously imposing arena, absolutely picture-perfect for a game of this nature. <laughs> Slovenia have opted for a 4-5-1 formation, it appears, Jim. Well, it's a formation, Peter, that lends itself to good possession and control in midfield because you've got the numbers there, a higher concentration. Backing that up with enough attacking dynamism is down to managers who want to get at teams. It can be used in cautious terms too, but certainly if you want to advance a little quicker and you have that attitude, then you can be very positive about this team. So we're up and running. So, Jim, who would you identify as the key man in this fixture? Yeah, Koke. He's the kind of midfield player who can do a bit of everything. He's got wonderful technical ability, but also boundless energy and enthusiasm. If things start drifting away from this team at any point, they can rely on him to take things by the scruff of the neck and get them right back into it. Yes, getting the best out of him will count for so much. Llorente. Forward it goes. Steered forward. OK. And it's played forward. And here's Morata. Beautifully done. Chance! And he heaves it forward. Be a throw in. That's beautiful, intricate passing. They are toying with their opponents. Well, they know that their version of what they do is extremely good. I mean, it's a level of possession that leaves the opposition chasing shadows. And it's Thiago. Koke. On the side, especially adventurous early on. Koke pings it out wide. Ferran Torres. Great leap! Good stop, that wasn't easy. Well, you can't ask for much more than that. A difficult moment he simply had to deal with. Looks to clip it forward. Could be a chance here. That's just very well played. He can't hurt you with his back to goal, and he didn't go for the back heel. In with the challenge. Morata really was well marshalled there because he was denied the opportunity to, to turn. Slovenia still to register a shot on target. Hoists it forward. Laporte gets into the right position to intercept. Thiago. Thiago switches it towards the other side. Ferran Torres going through. For header! Goal! Spain! 
Well, you know, thinking about that, I think they perfected that on the training ground because it took them seconds to get the ball from back to front, and they really commit forward in numbers too. It was all very well drilled. Deadlock broken, it's 1-0. Yeah, this is also a chance to see what happens to their level of concentration from here. Koke. Ferran Torres. Koke goes looking. It's Morata! That has certainly tested the keeper. Morata really must have felt he had the measure of the keeper then, but how wrong he was. And the counter is on, right through the middle. And that'll go straight through to the keeper. Koke. Thiago. And here's... And the shot! Thiago with the short one, and here's Thiago, there are a few waiting for it. That's pretty clear, it is a foul. Just the talking to, I think, yes it is. Yeah, well they were exposed and, and vulnerable, and he knew he had to do something to prevent a goal there. Oh, the ball's come loose! And it's Thiago. Shapes to shoot! A real chance and a real let-off. Well, Peter, I would say it was worth a try. position was perfect, the invitation was there for him, and his response absolutely clinical. It's really a problem when that much time is afforded in the penalty box. Nobody sensed where the danger was lurking, and the finish was made a lot easier. That has certainly made things interesting. Look, get your seatbelts on because this is showing all the signs of another roller coaster ride. Thiago. Llorente looks to dink one in. Half time, what well, it has been an even contest as the scoreline suggests, and it has been more than decent to watch. 
watch the first half compared with your expectations? Yeah, I think they'll be happy with that scoreline. I just hope the second half is as good as the first. It's been pulsating stuff. And then they come for the break with nothing to separate them. The score 1-1. So it's back to business. Out to the left it goes. Ilicic gets it back. Tries to get it forward quickly. Well played, he saw that coming. Jordi Alba. Jordi Alba plays it forward. Thiago. Rodri. Okay. Chance to break. Drives it towards the front. Tries lifting it over. Lobs it in gently. Laporte knocks it away. Ferran Torres. Thiago drives it forward. Thiago needed to come up with a better ball. Oh, that just required a bit more oomph to reach its target. And it's played forward. Hoists it forward. Morata! And he's there to make a great save. Morata simply didn't do anything wrong. He was thwarted by brilliance. It was on the back foot. into some space can he deliver Jordi Alba is there to heave it away and it's Ilicic and Ilicic and had everyone off their seats look I'm sure he'll deny it Peter but the keeper didn't have that covered Jordi Alba. Koke. And the weighted pass. Jordi Alba. Rodri. Oh, some tackle that. I have to say, that was an exemplary tackle. Stopped him dead in his tracks. And here's Ilicic. That's one way of trying to make things happen. There's a few who could follow that example. Thiago. Morata. Jordi Elba. Oh, he's got a crucial block in there. Spain merit full marks for their attitude and application in trying to win this. It means an awful lot, obviously. And it's Jordi Alba. And here's Morata. That's a bad place to challenge. What's he giving? Slovenia present their opponents with the best possible chance here. And the players are making their point, but the ref clearly isn't interested. He's waved them all away.
Well, I think the alternative was to stand there and, and do nothing while he, he tried to score, and obviously he's not going to allow that, Peter, is he? Time for a cool head, and that is precisely what he showed. He just didn't let his nerves get to him, he struck that with conviction. What a penalty. Well, this is what we've been waiting for. It was definitely a brave call by the referee to give that penalty, and I think the way this game has gone, it could easily turn out to be the decisive moment. Llorente. This is quite a run, and he's not done yet. A chance to play it in. He's got options in the box if he gets his head up. Jordi Alba. Rodri. Oh, what a ball! Going for goal! He's pulled off a fine save. Morata is very sporting here to acknowledge the quality of the save. A lovely little footballing moment. Thiago plays it short. Oh, the ball's come loose and the chase is on. Spain certainly don't need to overcommit now. Their priority lies further back. And he's made sure that that won't get through. Kurtic. Two minutes to be added on. Forward it goes, cuts it out. Thiago, Thiago. And there goes the final whistle. Slovenia moves by the odd goal. It could have gone either way, but that is no consolation. And after all of that, Jim, what are you thinking? Well, look, it was certainly a lot closer than I expected it to be. It was anything but a foregone conclusion. Remains for me to thank Jim Beglin for joining us and to wish you a very good day.